So are we not going to talk about King Cal talking about he let the woman pursue him and he let the woman choose him? Are we not going to have that conversation? Because see, this is exactly what I'm talking about, ladies, with these men that are beta males and they sit back for you to do all the work and run them down. And see, this is exactly what Denise is doing for her, for him, okay? And I know y'all said that Denise, uh, Adriana is competing with Denise, but I don't think so. I think Denise is competing with Adriana because from day one, King Cal picked Adriana out. Let's go back to the day when they came and he was like, mm, she is killing the game, okay? And he has been spending a lot of time with Adriana, not so much time with, with Denise. But anyways, girl, welcome back to Church Girls Want to Get Married To. My name is Janice Greg. I just got home from work, honey. I was like, let me just sit on down here and try to do a video before I get sleepy, girl, because you know I got to go to bed, okay? Because your girl got to get her beauty now, okay? But anyways, just thank you. I just want to say thank you for all your views and all your com comments on my videos. Thank you for uh, my eight lessons from my father. The video That video is almost at 1,000 views. So please check that video out and let's make it 1,000. My next video is coming is um, on uh, all men want to have sex, okay? Uh, from the book, The Naked Wife. Also, thank you for all of your purchases for my book on Amazon. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And of course, the 23 times of guys you might meet. I'm trying to make this book a number one bestseller. If you buy two books, if you buy two books, I have three books coming out soon. I have the Moments of Gratitude Journal. That's a journal. And then the Moments of Gratitude book. And then the other book about not wasting time being a girlfriend if you want to be a wife. And if you buy two books, you email me the receipt, girl. Email me. Because, you know, I'm learning the saints are lying, okay? Email me the receipt and you will get the book, a third book free. Okay, when the book comes out. But anyways, girl. And, of course, don't forget, um, in Christ I am. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, thank you. Yes, girl. I mean, are we not going to have this conversation? It was just so much dirt last week that I just didn't have time to talk about it. But let's talk about this. In a way, the Bible says, let's take it to the Bible. Where's get the Bible, get the Bible, get the Bible, Jesus. Get the Bible, get the Bible, get the Bible. The Bible says, he finds a wife, finds a good thing. And obtain favor from the Lord. So in other words, he finds her, she chooses him, and based on how he treats her, he obtains favor from God. Hallelujah. In Psalms, it said, blessed is the man whom you choose. So ladies, the men find us, we choose them. My daddy always said, 10 men might find you, daughter. They're looking for a wife because you are a wife. That's another thing, ladies, be a wife, okay? You're not being your girlfriend. You ain't no girlfriend. You ain't no baby mama. You are a wife. The men are looking for wives, so they might find you. But it doesn't necessarily mean you are the one for them. This is why y'all need this book. This is your, why you guys need... um. Data gathering, how to gather the data, how to talk to the man, how to hear them, how to hear what they mean when they say what they say, what they mean, okay? You need this book or run on over to Amazon and pick this book up, okay? Because when King Cal talk about, so basically what he's saying, he just lean up at the club and let the woman come talk to him. He don't pursue nobody, okay? Deuteronomy talks about the blessings of the Lord will pursue you and overtake you. So he don't, he don't do no work. King Cal don't put in no footwork. See, that's why men like that, uh-uh, I don't, I don't even waste my time, okay? Because, see, they think that they're all that. They don't have to put in the work. They don't need to pursue you. They don't need to ask you for your number because you're going to pursue them. They're, you're going to ask them for the number. You're going to take them out. You're going to cook for them. You're going to pop the babies out. This is exactly why he got two babies, okay? And if these girls had to shut their mouth and not pursue King Cal, they would not be baby mamas, and he would not be on a show looking for low how is it you got on a show you got two babies with two different women but you on a show talking about you looking for love you're ready for love you ain't ready for love you're not ready for love king cal because you got two babies with two baby mamas you need to be trying to work something out okay now you know y'all over here at the church gonna want to get married to full baptist 
holiness pentecostal uh jesus christ jesus only church we excuse the baby number one okay so baby number one you know you wasn't too smart you was young and dumb we overlook the baby number one okay even for the guys okay let's just be fair and overlook but you want to tell me you have a two-year-old the baby is two baby is still on similar probably ain't drinking whole milk yet and you on a show looking talk about he ready for love you're not ready for love king cow you ain't ready for love king cow because you're not ready to put in the work you are not ready to be a prepared husband to take care of wife and kids because you got two kids out here two baby mamas so you just created king cow you just created two more single mama homes okay i heard today i couldn't believe it they said the number is now up from 72 percent 72 percent of of every of black children live in a single mother's home i was reading another report today child they say it's now 80 percent. you know what that means 80 over every out of every 100 black children is living in a home with no daddy huh it's just a single mama home and king cow just created two more and so did brian allegedly allegedly okay and then you have the crazy woman who you don't have one baby with the man and he didn't do you right you're running home you you're running him down for child support and then the crazy that you go back into it this is what i want to say girl how you go back and go make you another baby with another man <laughs> I, it just don't come over here with your attitudes girl don't forget i had my baby when she, i was 16 she's 26 now okay my two kids are 20 years apart malex is 26 and little michael's gonna be six next month okay so ladies pay attention to the men okay pay attention to, let me see if i find the man pay attention to the man okay so he's not pursuing you because when a man pursue you and run you down, it's letting you know that he's really interested in you and he wants to do the work to put in. So basically, he's just laying there, child, and you doing all the work. You know, bam, 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 bam. He's just laying there like that. <laughs> and ladies, y'all need to watch out for men like that. I got to find him in here. I'm sure he's in here. I am sure he is in here. Now, ladies, you miss a crown myself. Maybe that's it. You need to decide. If you have to run him down, if you have to pursue him, girl, he ain't the one for you. You know why? Because you want you want to be the one to pursue, to be pursued. And let me tell you something else. A lot of y'all ladies running down these men, taking care of these men, paying for everything. What you don't realize is you get married and you want it to change. You want him to start pursuing you in the marriage and stuff. It ain't going to change because it's not going to change. Okay, the same way you went in the marriage is the same way uh, the marriage is going to be. And my daddy told me, he said, uh, you should still carry yourself so your husband could pursue you. Why y'all think I walk around in tatties all day, every day, girl? You think I'm go, girl, I'm about to go take this off now and put some, some sexy stuff on. Okay. Okay. And before the baby came, girl, I didn't wear no bottoms. I just, just this little thing up here. Because, you know, Lex is on the third floor, okay? And then my, my father told my dad, my husband, listen, whatever you did to get her, you better keep doing it. Okay, if I come down, Michael, if I put on a dress or I come down and he don't say you look pretty, you look girl, I'm in the oven like this. Mm. Strutting. Okay. Because he used to tell me every day, you're so pretty, girl, you're so pretty. Okay. So, ladies, you do not run the men down. Okay, this is why King Cal got two baby mamas and he's on the TV slobbing down adriana running away from 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 Denise. but you know what king cal denise is the type of guy for king cal because she's aggressive she's masculine she'll order him around and she'll get him to do everything he she need him to do okay adriana is the type of girl that you have to pursue and run after so i don't know if king cal is starting to make make the um the transition 
because you see, he's like, you know what? I can't, I can't, I just can't, I just can't do it. I, I just can't, um, I just, it's just too much for me to do. I just, she too, she too toxic. She's aggressive and masculine and, 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 and angry. And I just can't do, I got fine in, in here. You know, the man that don't run you down. He wants you to do the work. And that should be a big red flag, girl. If he don't want to run you down and pursue you, child, he, you should already know that's a red flag. You're going to have to do all the work. Who want to do all the work, girl? This is why we get married. So we can be provided for, protected, profess love too, and adored, okay? Every day your husband's supposed to tell you, girl, you so, you look so good, you so pretty, girl. I can't live without my husband telling me every day, you're my gift. I say, I know I ain't. I said, don't forget. <laughs> don't forget it, okay, Michael? Don't you forget it. <laughs> All right, girl, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. But yes, honey, did y'all hear him? He said, I let the woman choose me. So basically, he just, I know his Instagram is blown up, his Facebook chat. He just, he don't do nothing. He don't run the woman down. He let the woman. I have that in here. He let the woman come get him. Okay, Mr. Bates, Bates, baby. He let the woman come get him. He don't do the work. Okay, he don't do no work. Because he know all he got to do is show. He know a lot of women like the big muscular guy. See, uh, King Cow's a guy. He wouldn't get no date from me. He wouldn't even get my phone number. Oh, Mr. Jim Rat. I think that's it. Uh, let's see. My wife just did a hookup. I'm hungry. Mr. Mr. Let's see. Mr. Personality. 176. I think Mr. Jim Rat is in here. Okay. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, let me find it one selfie. Mm -mm -mm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, girl, I found one. This is not the one I was looking for, but th this is like that. Mr. Shoot Your Shot. You know, I know a lot of guys will tell you shoot your shot. You hear a lot of women say, I shot my shot, we got married. But what they don't tell you is, child, they're the man in the marriage. They are the man in the marriage. So Mr. Shoot Your Shot is in um, my book, 23 Times, so guys, you might meet on page 173, Mr. Shoot Your Shot. Ladies, any man that tells you to shoot your shot is, is one you need to block right away. Mr. Shoot Your Shot is often the same guy who wants you to pay half the bills or go Dutch on your date. Excuse me, Mr. Shoot Your Shot is lazy and doesn't respect or value you. A man who respects women will value and adore you and know that you're worth pursuing, Okay. Mr. Shoot Your Shot wants to protect his feelings. He knows that if you jump in his inbox and pursue him, then most likely you won't reject. He won't. You won't reject him because you're doing the chasing. You're saying you want him, and you will do what you need to do to have him, including shooting your shot. Okay, Mr. Shoot Your Shot is extremely feminine, and his masculinity hangs in the balance. He is the same guy who says he wants a woman to pursue him okay to propose to him okay he mr shoot your shot is the guy who will have his wife working two or three jobs while he contributes to the household expenses contribute okay you know like mr uh, uh mr filler in him in the meantime he sits at home all day waiting for his wife to come home to wash, cook, and clean, serve and feed him then bathe him sex him and put him to bed if you happen to meet Mr. Shoot Your Shot, please do us all a favor and run, okay? Run. Run for the hills from what's coming for your health, girl. Anyways, let me know what you think about Mr. Mr. Shoot Your Shot, Mr. Uh, I don't pursue. I let the woman pursue me. Okay, girl, let me know. Love you. Remember my books on Amazon. Two or three times, guys. In Christ, I am the naked wife. And FYI, let me start telling you guys, if you buy two, email me the receipt. You get a free book of the new book coming out starting January. I'm moving my ebooks from Amazon to my blog because Amazon is doing us dirty. Okay, they take 70%. Okay, so my nine, this $9.99 ebook, do you know how much I make? $3.50. $3.50. Do you think that's fair? No, it's not. Okay, and so they take 70%, which is not right. Okay, and so I'm going to be moving my ebooks. Um, from Amazon 
to my blog and hopefully i have that up and running by the okay girl i love you i love you i love you run run from it run run girl run 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 for your life run run girl run all right well bye